<laughs> Homo phones. In this game, Joe is going to read from a list of British gay slang words. Yes, I am. And I'm going to have to try to guess what they are. The catch being that Joe is going to have to ask them, and I am going to have to answer using a British accent. You mean using a British accent? That is exactly what I mean. Here we go. Rumpy Dumpy. <laughs> well, that just sounds like something we say, <laughs> say passing somebody on the street. <laughs> rumpy Dumpy. In fact, it means homosexual intercourse. And the Rumpy Dumpy to you too. <laughs> a Wally Woofter. It, it sounds like it could be a dog in a cartoon. <laughs> it's a derogatory term for a homosexual man. As in, he is such a Wally Woofter. A chicken. Blimey, I don't know what a chicken is. Maybe it's just a penis. A chicken is anyone under the legal age of consent. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yes. What happens if you go to McDonald's and order some chicken nuggets? You get arrested! Do you get little boy poops? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Well this is fun, isn't it? A hula hoop. A hula hoop. I would think a gay guy who has a lot of sex and his bum is his butthole is big. A hula hoop is the part in a bottom where the top enters. Through the hula hoop. <laughs> oh, I fancy a ride through the hula hoop. Let me see your hula hoop. Are you asking me to see my butthole? Yeah. No. Oh. Turn the camera off. A Princeton rub. <laughs> I would think it's a hand job from a man with a PhD. Oh. A Princeton rub is intercourse between two men in which one penis rubs against the other man's thigh or between the two men's abdomens. I could get I could get on with a Princeton rub. Just the way we used to do it back at Princeton. Also, now that we're doing British accents, I'm going to be very popular on YouTube. <laughs> An uphill gardener. <laughs> I must say, these Brits certainly are creative with their <laughs> slang. What was it again? An uphill gardener. Is it when the guy has a lot of pubes and you gotta work your way up? It's just a gay man. Well, I take back what I said about them being very creative <laughs> because that doesn't make very much sense at all now, does it? It makes no sense. A napkin ring. A cock ring? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> a napkin ring is a cock ring. They're not very creative at all. <laughs> Government inspected meat. I don't know much about British politics, but from the sounds of it, I would say it's a man designated to go around and measure British men's dongs. That is incorrect. It is a gay man in Her Majesty's Armed Forces. I wish I could have that position. <laughs> the one I made up. The one you made up. I would be Chief Inspector. <laughs> Gas fucked. <laughs> That's when the guy's putting it in the bomb bomb and the other guy has a little poop poop and a little fart on the tip of the penis. It's a term for a straight guy getting fucked by a gay guy while under the influence of alcohol. Oh boy, he's gas fucked. He's gas fucked. Oh yeah, gas fucked. Look at that. Yeah. I like that term. Yeah. Or it's me after Chipotle. <laughs> I mean, ho 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that concludes this episode of a homophones, a British tradition. I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I oh, hope you've earned a little thing or two about British gay slang. Cheerio! Chip, chip, and fish and chips. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. We're, we'll stop it. We'll, we're done. We're done. Next time, German slang. Each bin mine anus. Berg. <laughs> a Horatian is from the late 19th century, a term used at Oxford amongst Lord Byron and his compatriots to refer to a person of the bisexual persuasion. Oh, Lord Byron, he had quite the ass. He was a fiery, sexy man. I'd put my bread box in his fish batter. Now that's fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs>